I want to find the hydronium concentration of a 0 0.250 molar HF solution. So what are some of the keywords to help me out? Well, it says it's a solution, and I'm looking for a hydronium concentration. So unfortunately, we are going to have to use the rice method again. So I need to write a reaction. So my reaction is what? Well, I'm going to start with the only thing I'm given, which is the HF. I know I have to make hydronium, so I'm going to add to this. It's a solution, so it's in water. Since we have to make that, we know we're adding the hydrogen to the H2O to become the hydronium ion. That means that to HF, we are removing a proton to make it F minus. So there's my balanced equation. Now, what are my initial concentrations? Well, the only thing I'm given is for HF, so this is 0 0.250. This is a liquid, so we don't care about it. This is 0, and this is 0, because I didn't start with anything. So my change is, well, I'm going to have to take it away from what I started with. So over here, then it's the opposite, so I'm going to add X to both of these. And then I'm going to draw my line. So at equilibrium, I'm going to add straight down. So I've got 0.25 O minus X, then I've got X and X. So how do we solve this? Well, we know that HF is an acid, so the K sub A is the hydronium concentration times the anion divided by the acid. All right, so how do you find Ka? Well, you've got to have a table in a book. So you need to open up your book or your ebook and find the Ka value, which is 3.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. And this would equal to x times x over 0 0.250 minus x. Man, I sure would like to know if I can do an approximation on that. So there's two ways you can do it. Remember, you can find the approximation and then determine it, or you can get an answer and then make sure it was less than 5%. So let's do the second one. Let's go ahead and just approximate this to be x squared over 0 0.250. So I still have the 3.5 on this side. So then I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to cross multiply and set equal. So I get 3.5 times 10 to the minus fourth times 0 0.250. And that's going to be approximately equal to x squared. So I'm going to do the multiplication and take the square root. So if you want to go ahead and say I'm going to take the square root of that and the square root of this. And that's going to give me 0 0.00934. Five for x. Now I need to make sure that that's okay. So remember, you take your answer. I divide it by the initial concentration, and then I multiply by 100 to convert it to a percentage. And when I did that, I got 3.74 percent, which, thank goodness, is less than 5 percent. So it's okay to use that method. So our final answer is just point. 00935 molar.